Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Riven. Welcome back into the channel. And today we're going to talk about how to make an automated raid scene using streamer.bot. If you've never heard of streamer.bot before, check out the link in the description below. Go check it out. How for bot works for YouTube and Twitch. Let's jump right into this. First thing to do we need to set up for streamer.bot is make something called actions. So we're going to double click here and actions is pretty much just a container. You're going to name it whatever you want. In my case, name it raids. Uh, you can put, you can name your own group here and make things organized like I did. And then your queue, you can make different queues. But I left everything as default, everything else here. Make sure it's enabled. After you complete that, you now get another area called sub actions. And if you see all of these, if you right click and choose add sub actions underneath OBS, you're going to get all your OBS menus selections. The ones we're going to be working with are already listed here, but let's take a look at OBS before we actually take a dive into how all this is working so we can understand what's happening behind the scenes and how it all connects back to streamer.bot. We'll jump into OBS. We'll go to my raid scene. In my raid scene, I have a filter that will automatically be enabled as soon as this turns on. Someone raids me, this gets turned on. And then for 10 seconds, this is this music and this is gonna scroll for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, this will pop up and these filters will turn back off. And then for the 22 seconds that this video lasts, it gives me a full 32 seconds of a raid scene. This will play and after 32 seconds, it will bring me back to my, my streaming scene and bring me back to the actual live stream. Back to recording and then we'll go back to streamer.bot. So let's go through how this all works. So you right click, add sub action, OBS. First one, OBS scene filter state. This is gonna turn on and off the filter. In this case, for myself, my scene is raised, my filter is scroll, my state needs to be set to visible. And the reason why we start with this one because it's gonna go in sequential order. As someone raids you, all this is firing off at certain different times based on different, different delays or different actions. And when it gets to the end, and when someone new raids you, this fires off again to make sure that the, that that OBS scene filter state is enabled to get that cool scroll effect. Once that's done, once it's enabled right away, it flips over to setting your active scene of raids. So you're gonna add this one in, set at OBS set active scene. Make sure whatever it is, mine in this case is raids. This is where things get a little tricky. I need to make a delay. I want a delay for 10,000 milliseconds, which is 10 seconds. And I, after 10 seconds, cause now we still have that scroll that's going on for 10 seconds. I want that so I can still be able to talk to the live stream, welcome the raiders in and hype up what's about to drop. And then the channel clips drop and different variations of the clips for the stream. As this gets enabled after the 10 seconds, the scroll also gets disabled as we saw before, because we don't want the clips to be scrolling as it's going through. That'd be kind of pointless of you know having people watch clips of what's going on. So that's clip, channel clips enabled, scroll disabled. Then we have a 22,000 uh, 22, millisecond delay, which is 22 seconds, uh, because the, the video is 22 seconds plus this. So the scene lasts now for 32 seconds, as we discussed before, a full 32 seconds. So once that 32 seconds meets, it's now gonna go back to my active scene stream, my active scene of streaming. It's going to clear whatever actions I have in this queue. I said to clear everything, just in case there's other things up there that might be hanging up and just make sure it clears out everything everything. You can customize this further if you want to. I think all works fine for now. And then it's going to turn around and say OBS source of visibility state, rage channel clips hidden. We always want to make sure this is hidden again, because once someone raids us again, it's going to go through all these steps again. And if something's not disabled, if something's not hidden, it may not fire off correct. So we want to make sure we always turn off everything and make things visible where they need to be. If there are any questions at all, please leave a comment below. I will answer any and all questions and help you out the best I can to make sure you can get this working. Make sure that you have certain things set here. Also guys, if you're finding this helpful, please leave a like. And if you're really enjoying it, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers for the end of the year. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Let's move on to the next area. So now we made our actions and our sub actions. We're going to go over to platforms and platforms are where I have to tie this all together. First off, we want to make sure that your account is enabled and connected to Twitch. This is this will not work if it's not done here. You don't have to have the bot account enabled. You can leave it blank or connect your streaming account. Now you can come to events underneath events. You have something called raid and you have something called generic. You're going to click on this. You're going to choose the raid as action. Inside the raid actions has all those sub actions that we created. You can even nitty gritty here and say, hey, you know what? I don't want to be raided by, you know, X amount of people, by a certain amount of people. I want to have a minimum of 15 people and a max of, you know, 150. That's as much as I'll take. Or I could turn around and say, you know what? I just want only 50 viewers, nothing more, nothing less. And then it will, it will read that. And as a raid comes in, 
it won't, it won't let the person read it. So you can really set some cool variables here to sure that you want your stream set the way you want it. So we're gonna go ahead and test this and make sure this works. I always like to test, make sure everything works because don't want to put things in production when you haven't tested it yet. Sometimes you have to press the test button twice. There it goes. And there's the scroll. And you hear the music kicking up. We're gonna have a beat drop. This is gonna last for 10 seconds. So already, we already had this going on for about 10 seconds. We had this going on literally for 10 seconds. Everything else lasts for 22 seconds, giving us a full 32 seconds. I'm trying to stretch this because if you get your calculations wrong, you're either gonna have a shorter raid scene or a longer raid scene. You gotta hit it, it has to be perfect. It has to, the math has to add up correctly. And once that hits the 32 seconds, that's it, it's done. And that is your automated raid scene. Everyone, I hope you found this helpful. I would love to see what you come up with it. Tweet me at Twitter. I would love to see your creations because there's some creative minds out there and I would love to see what you guys come up with. So leave comments, hit me up on Twitter at Riven Bro Dragon and let me know what your scenes end up being like. I would love to see them. Thank you all for watching this. I'll check you out in the next one. Peace out, everyone.